Hello folks, this is my MSI case which I purchased myself and I've been overall very happy with it. I thought I'd just make a quick video for you. So apologies for the cables here. I've just turned the whole thing around so that you guys can get a good look see. Now this is a mid tower case. So that is 19 inches, 48 centimeters. And I think the overall design looks pretty awesome. You've got the section down the bottom here that's cordoned off in order to store your power supply and of course that means that you are not going to be seeing all the cables and the case does come with these three RGB fans as well at the front and these fans came pre-installed in the intake position which is absolutely perfect that's what most of us are going to be using those for but you can remove these if you want to install a heat sink and the front here will take a heat sink up to 360 millimeters however to install the heat sink you'll have to remove one of the hard drive caddies first since that will be in the way. And for other cooling, the top here can support AIOs up to 240 millimeters, and I have an MSI 240 installed right there. And you can have a 120 millimeter fan on the back here as well. So pretty typical in terms of cooling. What's interesting is they also include this optional dust filter, which is actually really nice and it's magnetic, it can go on the top. But I think this is actually kind of pointless for most of us because you only need a dust filter for intakes and the top here is almost certainly going to be an exhaust for most of us. So yeah, I don't bother with this. You don't want to trap the dust inside the PC, that's for sure. All your typical motherboards are supported, ITX right up through to standard ATX. And I am using a 3080 Ti graphics card. You're looking at about 12 inches. Yeah, just about a foot for that. Now bear in mind, I don't have an AIO here. So if you have a larger graphics card and want to install a radiator, it may not fit. But in my case, there is plenty of room to spare. Now in terms of front IO, you're pretty much covered here. You've got your power and reset buttons, of course. You've got an included USB-C port here on the front, which is 20 gigabytes per second. So that's great to see that here. And you've also got two standard USB type A ports. However, these are also super fast. They are 3.2. And then you've got your headphone and microphone, 3.5 millimeter ports. And finally, you've got a little button to cycle through a whole bunch of RGB options, which is really nice. So you don't have to download any software if you can find one of the presets that suits what you want. Here's just a few of them for you. You've got your solid colors and eventually you'll cycle around, there we go, to some alternating options as well. So lots of things to choose from here without even having to download the software, which I think is a great inclusion. As with pretty much every mid-range in gaming case, you will need to provide your own power supply unit. But overall, if I'm honest, I did take a bit of a punt. I'd never purchased or used an MSI case before, so this was a new thing for me, but I have been very satisfied. It's got all the features that I need for a mid-range case, and hope the video helped you.